of me ain't me, but promise if we add a member. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Iced out in Iceland. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Garrett, and today I'm going to give you guys a, another mellow video, and this is going to be on getting clients, and this is going to be another designer tips video, and I think I'm going to be uploading these kind of every single Monday. You know, I just think that's going to be kind of a uh, a good kind of video to start off the week, not start off with a bunch of tutorials. Just kind of start off mellow, upload my tutorials, do my top five, and repeat. So basically, we're going to go over the topic of this week of getting clients. If you guys haven't already watched my last week's video of when to start charging, I would go check that out right now. It's about 20 minutes long. I'm going to try to keep the same video about the same kind of length. So uh, overall, getting clients is a big part of designing. You guys are going to need to understand that you need clients to get an income and to start you know making this a full-time job or a part-time job instead of just kind of for fun so i'm gonna go over kind of some key steps to get clients and how to keep getting clients over and over again and coming from me i started off with nothing no clients and now i get them like almost every day or you know a few a day maybe i can't even say how many i get sometimes but you know it's all because of certain things I'm gonna show you guys and teach you guys right now. So as I said before, if you guys like this video, just let me know. If you guys like these kind of style videos, let me know. So as a sit back, kind of lay back in your chair, go throw this up on your phone and go into bed, or just put it on your TV as I said before, and you know, just kind of listen to me talk and rant on about stuff. So getting clients, as I said before, is the most important part of designing, and honestly, the best way to get yourself some clients is to be consistent with your designing. That doesn't mean upload or on your portfolio or on Twitter a bunch of crappy designs. That's not what I mean by be consistent. I mean be consistent as in your uploading quality and you're being very professional to everyone you talk to and being professional to everyone. And when someone comes to you and they're kind of mean to you asking for, you know, you, they need a job done or something, don't just be kind of an ass back to them. You need to kind of treat them with the same respect that you would with anybody else. And that's gonna be kind of the very nice way to bring people back to you. And when someone comes to you, let's say that you're a logo designer and someone comes to you asking for a jersey design, don't say that you can make it because you know down inside that when you make that, it's not going to be the same quality it would be if you made a logo design. And say it to the person, be like, hey, be like, I don't make jersey designs, but I can help you make a new logo. Here's my friend that makes jersey designs. Of course, if you need anything, I'll be here. You know, you can come back to me. If you treat them with respect like that, they're going to come back to you when they need that logo. They're going to remember you. They're going to be like, oh, so-and-so just treated me like this. You know, I need to come back to him. He's very professional. I do like his work. And, you know, I think I'm going to be able to get a lot of stuff done. So that's kind of a really key point is being professional, nice, and being consistent. And uh, another major part of being um nice to people and getting more clients re back and forth is respect the client and their request so this can go a lot of different ways if a client is like hey like i need a white styled simplistic minimalistic or however he wants to word it um 2d header i need the colors blue red and i need a dragon on it and don't message him back and be like i can't do the dragon i can only do the color blue sorry like, don't say that to them. Talk to them out. Be like, well, I'm a designer. Like, I think, I don't think the blues and the reds are going to work well with a dragon that's, let's say, orange. Like, I think you should keep either the orange color scheme or you should try to work with something else to help bring out these different kind of colors. And respect the client when you're talking to them like that. And if he says that he's very solid on this kind of style, do it. You know, make them happy. Send them as many kind of um, previews as you can possible to help kind of build stuff. And if he's happy with the work, he's happy. If he's not, he will tell you, trust me, I've been told. And, you know, things are going to happen like that. You have to respect the request. So another example would be like, I need an advertisement done. I need these words. I need all this stuff done in this 1920 by 1080 um, size document. Um, do every single thing he asks because if you're very nice to your client and you do his request that he's going to come back to you and he's going to send friends to you and he's going to get more people coming to you and it's just kind of like a trickling effect that everything kind of happens, you know, back and forth. If you treat someone nice, you know, you get respect back and it's kind of like getting respect tokens. I'll put it this way. Let's just say you're starting off the community with zero respect tokens, right? I'm going to put it in like kind of a, an arcade feel. Every client you do something good for and they're very happy with their work, you get one respect token. So, and every time you do something bad, you get like, you get it taken away. Like you just get zero, you go right back to zero respect tokens. So what you want to do is try to build up those kind of tokens to you get like, let's say 10. So you have 10 respect tokens that you have 10 happy clients right in a row. You've done everything they ask and you're feeling 
let's just say really tired you're kind of sick laying in bed and someone messages you on twitter or emails you and he's like all right he's like what's going on like your name or whatever you want to call you and he's like um i need an astro a40 tr headset advertisement but i need it done in 24 hours and I need it to have all this text, these colors, and they need it to have a style like this, and he links to all this kind of stuff. And you do it half fast. You don't put um, all the words. You don't put any of the colors. You send it to him. He obviously he pays you in advance if you guys are a designer. You usually like to get paid beforehand. And he's not happy with the work, and you just told him to you know go screw himself or something like that. You'd be like a really mean douchebag to him. That's gonna take away all those respect tokens that you just earned from all those other clients. You know, you don't want to treat someone with crappy respect if they're gonna treat you with respect back and forth. It's a client; they want something. You're the designer. I'm not gonna be the kid that says, you know, the the other person's always right. Like that's not usually the case, but in this case, it is. You know, the client usually is always right, and you know, you have to treat them with respect. So another thing that you have to worry about is time management and you have to understand the deadlines that you and or you are given. So what that means is let's say that you have a motion designed to do in let's let's just say you have your, your price list and the bottom of it you have time taken one to seven days. Let's say the guy says well I need it done by July 4th and it's July 1st like I'm just using random dates and you're like all right like i can do that let's just say you're charging 70 dollars if you don't get that done by july 4th you're gonna not only upset the client but you're also gonna take away that respect he has for you and also the chances of him coming back so what i mean by that is when you're kind of given a deadline you have to get it done by that day and a really good thing about clients and getting more clients is getting your work done before the deadline is due so it's kind of like a project like some teachers give you extra credit if you hand in a week early or a few days early it's the same way with clients you always want to get it done ahead of time rather than the latest point possible let's say even another example is let's say you have an essay due for college due at 11 59 august 20th because that's when i'm recording this video if you send in that essay 1158 you're not only being like very poor to yourself but you're sick like, starting to be sloppy with your work thinking that it's okay to start giving stuff the last second you know that's not okay the clients aren't going to be happy with that kind of stuff and if he or she whatever you guys are dealing with a girl or a man if they need it done by a certain day get it done by that day like that morning and or get it done a few days behind or before just because it's a lot easier to kind of deal with that kind of stuff so uh and you know when you're designing for people and you're being you have to be as respectful as, as possible as i said before and when you're done with your work send them it as professional as possible if you guys are sending them photoshop documents label every single document every single file on that right hand side every single layer and put them in folders say don't touch you know these are the ones you can edit and stuff like that you have to be as clean and as respectful as possible and the way you treat them is going to reflect how they treat you back and another cool thing that you guys can do with clients, because they're so kind of um, flexible with doing your designer, you can always tell them, like, if you're going to come back, you know, let me know ahead of time, because I'd love to work with you, and I'll open up some free time, you know, just to help you kind of get your stuff done a lot faster. You know, I had a lot of fun working with you. I think your prices are fair. And when they have fun with you and they have a really good time, you know, they enjoy the work that you produce, they're going to tell their friends, their business partners, their uh, their gamer buddies. They're going to tell them all about you. They're going to see who designed the stuff on their page. And, you know, it's going to get you more flowing income back and forth. And it's just a huge thing that you kind of have to understand that the way you kind of go, sorry, I just pause. The way you have to go towards the client is basically the way he's going to come back to you. Like if you're really mean to him, not respectful at all, you're not going to get any respect. He's probably going to just kind of blow you off or something like that. And that's going to be just a really bad part in your um, kind of thing. So let's just say you guys understand all of that. You have to be as respectful, professional, consistent, everything like that when you're getting clients. And then there's ways you can stop getting clients. And what I mean by this is you, let's say you have 10 those um respect tokens i was talking about earlier in the video let's say you have 10 of those and let's just say you're kind of a douche to the client previous and you think that you know you lost them all you know let's just they're thrown away or something like that the way you're not going to get them back and the way that you're going to get less clients and the way that you're going to get a bad reputation is when you're being unprofessional and disrespectful and that means when he like 
messages you with a huge paragraph he's like hey like what's going on how's your day you know i'm gonna need this kind of work and everything like that and don't message him back be like sup my prices are a hundred dollars paypal let me know like don't kind of be small talk like that let the client know that you want to talk to him let the client know that you're really you're really interested and stuff like that it's like going into a job interview and kind of being an ass back to the person interviewing you like you can't do that you're not going to get the job and it's just a simple way that's a good way to kind of explain it to you guys is it's kind of like a job interview and let's just say you're getting interviewed to work for um some crazy company like let's say intel intel's kind of hooking you up right now they got you in the little booth you're sitting down and he walks up to you and he's like hi my name is um jack i'm really interested in hearing about why you want to work for this company and you know let's like sit down let's talk let's you know chit chat and basically you guys sit down and he's like so like how are you you know how's your day it's like they have some small talk before the kind of real big questions and you're like what's up i'm fine you know how are you like you can't like be kind of someone like that to the client be like kind of respectful back to them and don't small talk them don't do anything like that you know be respectful to the client like you'd be respectful to your parents or family or an adult or someone like that that's a really important key and the last thing i'm going to talk about in this video that is the number one way to never get another client possible is scamming people because if you get money through paypal and you send it friends and family or they send it to you friends and family and you just totally blow them off block them never talk to them again you are the definition of like disgusting because that is a crazy important thing when you're dealing with clients is when you scam them they lose all respect they tell their friends about you and you get just totally bashed on and when i say scam i don't only mean not doing their work when they pay for you but i mean overcharging them a crazy amount i mean just kind of making them feel like absolute crap and ripping them off completely that is a crazy way not to get a client if you're charging someone a hundred dollars for a twitter header and it's like four layers like you are ripping someone off completely like that is a really big scam so that's a crazy part of not getting any clients is scamming people because if you guys are designers you guys are starting to get a little bit of kind of clients back and forth you guys will know that when you're getting clients some of them are very you kind know, of kind of worried when they're sending money that you're gonna rip them off and that's because they've been ripped off before that's because they've dealt with someone that's a scumbag and they've pretty much taken their money ran away with it and then they've been left with nothing so that's just a really bad part of designer and kind of being a respectful person so after all of this is done you have your keys on how to be really nice to the clients how to get them back and stuff like that now the question is when do they start coming like how are they going to start coming so basically the way that i get a lot of my clients is through my portfolio on behance my youtube channel obviously thank you guys so much Nine thousand subscribers you know someone's gonna have to come to me right um obviously the respect tokens that i have i probably have like four thousand by now you know it's ridiculous how nice i am to everyone don't really i don't like oh well i don't rip people off actually like i never have done that i don't even know why people do that it's really kind of a dirtbag move but uh, really, the way that you can start getting clients is is set up a Behance, um, make everything as professional as possible, um, email kind of little smaller organizations or little um, other kind of things, and be like, hey, I'm looking for um, paid client work. Like, I know that you have uh, that your designs aren't really up to the standards of your um, company. Be like here's my rates you know i'm not really charging that much but i'm trying to get an income let's say to pay for my phone bill and i really think that i can help out brand your company a little bit better email people you know try to get your name out there you know tweet at people and when i say tweet at people do not tag me and 40 other kids because we will not be happy i get that every day people tag like me sore whiz rated designs jesus like they tag everybody like i'm sitting here on my phone scrolling through like 50 notifications of you guys tagging me and like need clients help and like 60 of us like we're not gonna send you a client if you're treating us like that but basically set up your behance you know email smaller organizations and companies um be nice to people always ask if they need anything or if they want to pay for anything like that and basically it'll help you in the long run and it'll help you getting clients and stuff like that so uh I'm going to talk about this as a little bit kind of in a big broader general and then I'm going to end the video. So being consistent, being nice and professional, be respectful to your friends and your clients and everything like that. Kind of re respect the request and stuff like that and just re kind of respect, you know, everything that they ask, time, time management, deadlines, 
everything like that and always be nice to them when you're finally done talking to them and you finish your designs be like you know you're welcome to come back i'll give you 10 percent off like your next like hundred dollar purchase treat the friends they send you the same way business partners and everything like that and most importantly do not be unprofessional and disrespectful and never scam anyone if any of you guys have been scammed before and you guys are watching this video let me know right now on twitter hit me up on my dms let me know in the comments below i want to actually see how many people have been scammed just watching this video and basically that's going to be it for the video as i said before if you guys like these designer tips let me know in the comments below if you guys have watched the end also let me know in the comments because it really means a lot when you guys watch my whole entire video so as I said before, let me know about everything that you guys want to see on this channel. If you guys like these designer tips, let me know. I think they're going to start blowing up a little bit soon. And that's basically going to be it for the video. Um, if you guys have any questions, any kind of commands, requests, um, just let me know in my Twitter messages. Let me know in the comments below. And soon I'm going to be starting up a new Skype to talk to all the fans. And I'm going to be getting my website going with kind of a store and apparel store and stuff like that. So it's going to be really insane. So thank you guys so much for almost 9,500 subscribers, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.